Today we're going to do something slightly different, but something I said I would do in a previous video. In my review of Doctor Who Series 1, I said I would do reviews of individual Doctor Who episodes. And this one, and I'm going to do that. Now, starting with the Ice Warriors from Season 5, the classic show, with Patrick Troughton's second Doctor as the Doctor. Let's start with a brief summary of the uh, story's plot. It's set in Britain in the year 5000 AD where reverse climate change has happened due to uh, them basically getting rid of carbon dioxide so it's just a permanent winter and there are glaciers constantly I guess attempting to destroy the world from both poles due to the lack of any heat and there's this is at Britannicus base which is a base that uses the ionizer a device which is a device that magnifies the Sun to melt these glaciers and at this base one of the scientists uh, scientist Arden discovers a what he thinks is an ancient man frozen in the ice. It is in fact an ice warrior, which is a ancient inhabitant of the planet Mars. And this ice warrior is awakened and kidnaps Victoria, who's one of the doctor's companions. And the gets these devices that he uses to unfreeze and he unfreezes his crew and this lead ice warrior his name is Varga and then there's also scientist Penley and his assistant store scientist Penley is a former scientist at the base who abandoned it due to the leader Clint being basically refusing to obey well disobey world computer control which is a computer that basically controls the, the ionizer systems around the world and store eight science and so they are there and the so scientist Arden and Jamie the doctor's other companion go to rescue Victoria and investigate the spaceship and then Arden is killed and Jamie's injured so store and Penley save Jamie and Penny has to take him back to the base because he might be paralyzed whereas Storr goes to the ice warriors to get help before getting killed and the doctor realizes that in order to make sure that the ionizer hitting the ice warrior ship doesn't cause a nuclear explosion destroying all of Britain he has to investigate the ship so he has to get himself captured which he does but then he is able to escape with Victoria and then they use the Ice Warrior's own weapons to attack them and when when Farga goes back to the ship to uh, investigate the Doctor returns to the base and orders them to use the ionizer um, also world computer control has a stroke because their computer system has to make a decide decision over and both decisions have a high risk of causing it to be destroyed so and it can't handle that and 
Penley and Clint uh, reunite and become friends again at the end. Uh, that's the plot. In terms of what I actually think of the story, it's perfectly fine. It's not amazing, it's not terrible. It introduces the Ice Warriors, who have better appearances later on. Um, it kind of feels like a worse version of the Tenth Planet, which is worse because it doesn't feature the Cybermen, and it's just not as well written, and also it's longer. And for the most high part, I don't like long stories. Like this story could easily have been four episodes long. But it also has the second Doctor, and Jamie, and Victoria, so it's enjoyable. So it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. Um, that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this shorter video. Uh, see you next time. If you've enjoyed this, uh, leave a like, and I hope you have a fantastic day.